Hi, it's Educator Jo, and today I will be reading Australia at the Beach. Written by Max Fatchen and illustrated by Tom Jellett. I'm holding my new flippers. Quick, time is racing past. Australia Day, the sky is clear. Here's William, always last. The neighbour's car is loaded with such a noisy crowd. It's very sad for Rover, for beach dogs aren't allowed. The sunlit beach is shining. It stretches far and wide. And here the quiet sea will spread its tablecloth of tide. Here comes a busy esplanade. The yachts have sails like wings. And through our station wagon, the lazy sea breeze sings. We're racing to the water and with a splash and swish, we dive among the ripples. Watch out for jellyfish. A small boy is exploring. With poking spade he goes to squelch among the sandbars with cockle-tickled toes. Poor William's not a swimmer. It's no use shedding tears when you're sitting on the bottom, see gurgling in your ears. I wish I were a sea king among the fins and tails. I'd play with diving dolphins and huge respectful whales. I'd swim the seaweed forest in underwater parks. I don't think I'll take William. He might attract the sharks. Let's build a sandy castle. The sea will be the moat. A bucket makes the turrets. A cuttlefish, a boat. And you will be the princess. Do you have a happy reign? What? William's lost a sandal. Don't tell me, not again. The kiosk looks inviting. There's Coke and lemonade and coloured sticky doughnuts, still warm and freshly made. Then back to have our picnic. We'll kneel on sandy knees. Sausage rolls and sandwiches. A chicken wing? Yes, please. What's happened to the lettuce? Some boys have funny ways. There's William using sunscreen instead of mayonnaise. Beach cricket now, how noisy. We bowl and bat and shout. Remember, I'm the umpire. My fingers raised, you're out. It's not your hit, Teresa. You cannot bat all day. Look, William's lost his bathers. He doesn't want to play. I think the tide is turning. The waves are very strong. Now William's on his bodyboard, but not for very long. Let's walk along the jetty. The sea will push and beat, and we can feel a trembling beneath our sandaled feet. So on a little further, we're on a ship, pretend. The whole wide world is waiting beyond the jetty's end. But William has a splinter. Oh, William, do you mind? On holidays, some people are better left behind. See, heading for the shoreline, sail little leaning ships. The afternoon is passing, so who's for fish and chips? It's time for driving home now. We'll help Dad load the car. The sunset sea sounds sleepily. And there's the evening star. It's school again tomorrow. My William looks a sight. And thanks for seas and beaches. Australia, dear. Good night. The end. Comment below if there are any other books you would like me to read. 
And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.